Hello there, James here. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on Stable Diffusion with Automatic 1111 Web UI. In this tutorial, we will explore how to create logos using the Dream Shaper model and the Annie Logo Laura in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. So let's dive in right and get started. First, we are going to download all Checkpoint and Laura files for this image generation process. Link in this video description below. You can pause the video and download those files if you need it. After installing the necessary files, let's begin by generating our logo. Copy and paste the prompt, making sure it reflects your, your desired vision. The prompt is a crucial step as stable diffusion will bring your thoughts to life. Be thoughtful and creative with your prompt. For my demonstration, I wrote a random text. Next, select the Any Logo Laura, which we installed earlier, and we will use the Dream Shaper model for this task. Now let's process the settings. Go to controller and drag and drop the image I created using Photoshop. Select line art in controller and adjust the related settings accordingly. Once done, hit generate to create the initial logo. Okay, as you can see, it generated a text, but it is not quite right. Let's try changing some settings to see if we can achieve a better outcome. Wonderful. The design looks amazing, especially the vibrant colors that the Laura generate. Let's experience with different prompts lines and observes the outcome. The design looks fantastic, but the text isn't ideal. I shall retain the design and remove the text using Photoshop. Now let's upscale the logo using the Extras section. Choose 4X Ultra Sharp and Extras and adjust settings for optimal upscaling results. Excellent. The logo is now sharper. Let's enhance it further by increasing the settings. Perfect. The result is acceptable. Save the image to your PC and open it in Photoshop. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use Canva for alternative way to edit your logo. Canva is more beginner friendly way to edit photo, but this time I am going to use Photoshop for demo. So in Photoshop, we will remove the text and add the desired text to complete the logo. That concludes today's tutorial, and I shall be back with more exciting content. Until then, I will see you in the next video, and happy designing!